James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is August 5th, 2022, 2.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We had a double C flare last night, uh, really about 1 p.m. Central Time here. Started out as a C 5.61, it has that M shape, we call it an M style flare, and then uh, quickly dissipated and rose or spiked again to a 4.91. So that's most probably earth facing, but SDO is down, i.e. the fiber optics cable that runs from New Mexico to Northern California has been severed. Why would you ever use a fiber optics cable instead of just using telecommunications? And why would you not have a backup observatory or modeling station at White Sands if that's where the data is coming to? Very strange. Over to Lasco C3, as soon as I saw that they started it yesterday, You'll see that some of these frames just don't look like the others, and then it's back to the other. Obviously, they are covering things up. These people are complicit in their behavior. What is really bad about this situation here is, is well, once we get past yesterday, right, and we get to 140 or 154, they cut out over. 12 hours and 20 minutes of information there. That would have been when that flare actually happened. Why would they ever cut that much data out? 12 hours of data is missing. And then SDO is shut off at 16.06 UTC time, which was 10 this morning, Central Time here in the U.S., a catastrophe, as always, from NOAA. Heading over to GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager, which we will be using quite a bit with STO down indefinitely. Strange. It was down just two weeks ago for two weeks. GOES 1695 angstroms. We see that coronal hole earth-facing. Expect solar winds to start hitting earth at about 500 kilometers per second in about 40 hours. A short-term event, a small coronal hole. Uh, we see the sunspot that's most active over here and two new ones that have sprung up. Uh, STO being down, why is that so important? Well, number one, they're not naming sunspots with STO down. Number two, we can't see what's going on. They already had the three-hour blackout going on. Now the entire thing's down. Much more is going on than they would ever tell us. 12 hours plus missing from Lasco C3 and no information here. This starts way after the flares, as everything does now. I'll take you all over to the X-ray absorption chart. You can see they have it starting out at 11 UTC time. A little bit of X-rays hitting everyone, but a very little bit running a mid B line baseline uh, and the sea flare is not going to be included in this information either or the double sea flare may I say from NOAA to NASA here we go I'm not sure if this is yesterday's flare or they've already modeled today's flare you can see that it looks like it misses earth in yellow here but we do have something impacting earth looks like uh, on about the sixth or seventh we have this huge plasma headed towards earth but somehow they predicted it, well, today, and it's not going to hit until around the 14th or the 15th. Let's see when it stops here. Uh, it's ridiculous is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. So they haven't stopped it at the 14th. It's nowhere near Earth yet. We're going to say it's going to hit on the 16th. That means they've stepped out 11 days and predicted plasma out of nowhere. We all know how fast plasma and solar winds move. How could they make a prediction like that? Now, we are hit by some plasma here on the 9th, the 8th, and 9th. You can see how light it is on the 9th, it looks like. 
So do prepare for that. But uh, all in all, more garbage out of NASA and NOAA. All right, so we're down to Soho, and this picture was taken last night at 7.06, which is almost useless. Soho, 284 angstroms. They've added that yellow haze, so we can't see what's going on. They're not counting any of these new sunspots or naming them because SDO is down. This is the coronal hole facing Earth that should be sending solar winds our way. Looks like we have a big coronal hole that had been hiding. We knew we had one on the north pole, but it looks like it extends much further south. There's actually another uh, coronal hole here that we can see. Again, all the new sunspots are not named. So 284 angstroms last night at 706 before the eruption. This is going to be where the eruption came from right here. Period. Are we in trouble? Yes, we're in trouble. Something nefarious or for, uh, far more than we know is going on. I.e. All the models are going down or are down. Please share, subscribe. Always remember, anything is possible in Bizarro World.